Yo, morning all, Nick. Adam, he's there, hunched over in the corner, already at work. Uh, starting a rewire, another rewire today. This one is occupied for, well it is occupied, but they're going away in a couple of days. So we'll get the free range everywhere. But for the first few days, we are literally just chasing out where we can. We're not putting any sockets in any of the same places. Everything's being moved and changed. Uh, TV socket, there's one going here. See the old surface ones. I'm just putting one here, there was one there. So this video is not going to be a very long one, it's going to be a how to sink boxes in the wall really. Um, we've covered it across on several different videos before but we can go a bit more in depth in this one, spend a bit of time showing you different techniques with a, with a multi-tool blade. I would like to use the grinder, but I'm, I've ordered a grinder attachment for my Bosch grinder. It attaches a Hoover to, but it hasn't turned up yet so I can't use that one. Uh, we're going to get the chase around a bit, obviously to chase up. But we won't be able to film any of that because you've seen it all a billion times. So we're going to mark a few sockets out, show the different drawers and different attachments and the different scoops and chisels and blades we've got. And then, uh, yeah, through, run through a few different things. Right, genuinely, and I mean this, I was talking to Sam on Monday Club about this with, you know, PPE and safe isolation. It is a must to protect yourself. And I severely ignored it with PPE over the years and my hearing's already knackered as Adam knows. Yep. <laughs> Wear your goggles, you only get one set of eyes and I know you've seen videos of me without but it's good practice. Ear defenders, what we're going to get is normal SDS, 5.5 five bit, we're not going to go too deep. These are 35mm Patrices knockout boxes, whatever you want to call them, going in the wall. But this is a terraced house so there will be someone on the other side so don't go too deep. Little tips and tricks you can do, which I'll do here in a minute. You can, well I can see here it's to the last spiral on there, so this bit here is the perfect depth. If I go down to the last spiral on the 5.5 five bit, then we know we're at the right depth. So we'll go around, start one on each corner because you want the corners to be as crisp, and then drill a few holes around, or we'll drill out the centre, then we'll use the chisel bit, but uh, it'll be a bit noisy for a second. Well, and that should be enough. The problem with glasses is they just steam up. That should be enough to go around and break the brick from the other brick, but equally the centre ones will break up the internal brick into smaller bits. So when you chisel it out with a scoop, it should come out in smaller chunks a bit easier. So I'll just change the bit over. It's just a, I think this is a Bosch spade bit. I've had this for years. Is it two inches? Mm, yeah, I think so. And if anything, this is the bit you need the glasses for because a bit's flying out. Yep. What we do normally like to do as well when we're doing this is get either one of the hoovers we've got, just set it below. We'll do it on another one in a minute when I show you a different solution for it, but it just catches a lot of falling dust and stops it going airborne. You don't go too deep to start with. All you want to do is break the surface plaster away from the brick to start with. That will then allow you to go a bit deeper afterwards. Right, so now we've got down, that was really hard plaster, it's almost like render plaster. Um, we've got to the brick, we've still got our depths, we've still got our holes across. You, once you go in, you will feel where the end of your hole that you've created with the bit five, five bits ends, and you will just work your way back and forward, work the middle, and then work a bit in the middle. And bit by bit, you just scoop out and go at different angles to try and get it level. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be honest, this is one of the hardest bricks I've chiseled. 
in a very, very long time. So now the bottom is pretty good depth, we'll just work our way across. But obviously we're always restricted if there's a wall next door to get angles this way. Obviously we can't get our drill across, so you just need to do what you can. I don't think that's going to be far off. I reckon you need to go a little bit more. Do you want the armor? No, it's, there's a little lip there. Yeah. It's good showing you like this because this is the hardest bloody brick I've done in a very long time. You alright? These walls are all getting skimmed anyway. Got like half a mil hanging out, but I'm happy with that. I don't want to go too, too deep, because obviously next door, we don't want to be going saying hello through their lounge. So that's the way to do it with this. Obviously it was a bit of a long-winded way because it was very solid brick. It's probably gonna be the same around the rest of the house. Um, normally, well, we'll give them what we tour go. Instead, so you can get a real clean edge on this as well. Now I'm not too concerned, because it's all getting plastered, but a socket face most of the time will cover up all this. But well, what you can do on the next one is we'll go round with a multi tool first to get a clean edge, pull the plaster off, and then we will drill our holes through the brickwork. But I'll show you that next. Right, okay, so what I'm gonna do, this is my segment of my sponsor bit with Tradify. So what we're doing with Tradify, just to make sure I've not got everything, so all my quotes, I don't know how well you can see, cut some soft details on there. I'm gonna go through my quote that's been accepted. We're gonna go through exactly what we need and how many we need of. Pretty sure we've got everything. The only thing I've forgotten, which I've just looked on here, they want dimmers in every room. So I have to go get some dimmers, uh, which is, I'm happy I check now. Um, but one of the cool things with this recently, because I've been able to produce quotes so quickly, which is a really cool thing for me, because we I just had my biggest quote accepted last night ever for a job. And um, I could probably say, yeah, so I got a job accepted for the first time being uh, 10 grand plus the VAT which for me is the biggest job I've ever been accepted for, for a house and external stuff with some wiring. We're gonna film it all, the customer watches the videos. Very happy with, we've got currently six rewires booked in or pretty much in the final stage of being booked in. And through this app of helping me manage stuff and quote and invoice and add certificates to it, it's just helped me grow and grow and grow to the point where we're at now. So uh, thank you Tradify, all the links below, guys, go and check it out and uh, hope it works as well for you as it does for me because it really, really has made a great impact. Right, for this one, just going for a TV socket. We always offset it because obviously your main bracket's gonna go here. And most of the time your outlet on your TV for your, your 240 would be on the left hand side. To Samsung, I know that's the case. This is what we're gonna do. We're not gonna drill it first. We've got a big toothed multi tool blade make the hardwood, this one. Uh, so we're just gonna go around, get a really nice clean cut, scoop out the plaster. I'm hoping this is gonna work, but this is really, really hard plaster, so we're gonna have to give it a go, but run around and we'll go after. So you can see how much that has eaten the blade up. This is an old one, so I'm happy to throw it away. All I'll say is, with this, just get the SDS, bear with me. Oh, it's down there. Make sure you've got protected flooring down, we've got the mats, we've got plastic throughout, we've got everything sheeted up behind us. clean edge that we can work set for. Let's say this is a finished wall and we really don't want to damage it. This is the sort of thing you would do. We're going to go around now with the 5-5 bit, break this brick up behind. We've got a mortar line here which is good for us. Obviously that's going to crumble. The top of the edge of the brick's probably here so yeah we'll do the same thing. Right, 
but the brick is blown out as we can see, but we can get a good fixing in there. Nick is uh, sweeping it into a rubber tub. I'm just asking. <laughs> it's not going to get on the yeah, floor. He's, he's not sleeping on the floor. Beautiful. So with this, there's not a lot of fixing on the right side, but because we fit it so snug and we will put some bonding in it, we can get a good biting in here. And worst case scenario, we can put a bit of grip fill in it just to bite it on this side, but that is banging. So that gives you a nice crisp edge compared to what we had before, if it's a finished wall. Then we'll just chase down. Yeah, we'll get the Metabo out and we'll chase down in a little bit. Yep. Right, so jumping on to the fixings now. So obviously not on here, we can't really get a decent fix in. Got a tube of grip fill, fill the back up, we'll set the box in, we'll put a spirit level on, we'll let that set overnight. We're not gonna be running cables in here probably for two days anyway, so by then it'll be set, we can run a conduit into it, and then we'll run onto a brick one in a second. set in, I can just stick something underneath it, such as that. Keep it where it's meant to be, you know, normally a piece of wood or whatever, but let's try a level on your camera. Yep. Sound. And the thing with this as well, a lot of the time you want it to come through these holes and it's will pinch it, pinch it in place. A lot of times I've done it before where we've just fed screws through it into a void full of that and it will bite onto the screws and hold it in place. So that's one way, to be fair, half an hour this will have set. Uh, let's run on to another one. Right, so the last one, this is in, obviously solid brick behind. We're gonna use a marksman, a little sprayer, which chucks out brick. <laughs> Never knew do that before. Chucks out like green, uh, not dust. Cork, chalk? Paint chalk. <laughs> Hold that in place, that is level. You push it on. One, two, as you bring it out. We'll have clear chalk mines on the wall. As you can see, SDS 5.5 bit again. We just use red plugs. Uh, take the knocker out. All right, one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Sit that back. Two inch and a half screws. Put your level on. <laughs> I put it on it after. We've got these in place. Bob on level, with a gap, so with the plaster uh, ball papers come off a bit. Yeah. That's in place, now that's solid, that's not good anyway. You can see there's a bit of a twist to it that really wouldn't matter. It's all just depending on how the wall sits, it's not a flat wall behind. Uh, but this gives us a, a great anchor too for our sockets. Yeah, and voila. That was it, simple job, easy peasy, uh, how to chisel it out a few different ways. I'll order the grinder attachment for, sorry, the hoover attachment for my grinder, because you can do it with the wall chaser as well. I just don't want to make too much mess in this, this place in the wall. So um, yeah, let me know if there's anything you or else you want to see, little videos sort of floorboards being pulled up or, Small spotlights, we don't know if it's just spotlights anyway. But yeah, anyway, catch you a bit guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.